Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. Today we're going to talk about laser cutting. Laser cutting is a process of using a very high powered laser to cut or engrave materials by moving it over a flat bed. Things that you can easily laser cut are wood, cardboard, acrylic, paper, and you can engrave into glass and metal. There's a huge range of things that you can do and create with a laser cutter. Something to be conscious of is the types of fumes that the material gives off because it does cut it by burning it. So here's an example of some acrylic pieces that we've laser cut with the um, Core Electronics logo and a piece that we've engraved. And we'll go a little bit into um, how to prepare a file for laser cutting. Laser cutting is becoming more and more accessible for makers today. It's still something that's a little out of the price range to have in your own home, but it's completely accessible for groups like makerspaces or tool share programs. So more and more people are having access to laser cutters and being able to create with this tool. And we recently offered a started offering a service on Core Electronics for laser cutting. So you can submit to us your SVG files will laser cut them or engrave them and send them anywhere in Australia. So let's take a look at the type of files that we use to create a laser cutter toolpath. So the first thing you need to use is a vector file. And how do you tell that a vector file is a vector file? Well, it's, it's all in how it looks really from the surface, but an SVG file, a DXF, and sometimes a PDF, these are all vector files. And the easiest way to tell is by zooming in on a surface. So I have GIMP open here, which is a free photo editing software. And if I was to draw a black circle, and the edges look really smooth, but as we zoom in on it, they get pixelated. So we can tell that this is not a vector file. We have, it's a, a graphic image, like a, like a JPEG, and as we get closer, the edges get pixelated. Now, if we go into a vector editing software like Inkscape, then we create a circle similarly in Inkscape, and this one's a vector circle. We can tell right away that we're able to reshape this circle after it's been placed on a drawing board, and as we zoom in on the edge, it stays completely smooth. So a vector file is different from a, a typical JPEG or graphic image because all the lines are calculated mathematically. So it, when you create something, it assigns points and vectors and, and curves from those vectors, and that allows it to be completely scalable. So a vector image, as you look at it, can be scaled up infinitely and still keep its perfectly smooth edges and keep its sh same shape without losing any detail. So when we're creating a vector file for laser cutting, there's a few little rules we want to keep in mind. So I have a Core Electronics logo here, just like the ones that we've laser cut already. And there's a few different types of cuts that a laser cutter can do. And the first type is a cut. So when we create a file for a cut with a laser cutter, um, it's different for some softwares, but for ours, we use Trotec Job Control and the, the default color is red. So we assign the different types of cuts that we want our laser cutter to do with colors of our strokes. So here I have everything in red, so everything on this logo will be cut out. So at which we end up with this logo right here is this, the same results from this file, everything red, everything will be cut out. And one of the most striking things about laser cutters is that it, they follow the tool paths perfectly. So you get incredibly precise cuts from your final product. So the next type of cut that we could do with a laser cutter is a vector etch. So if we were to do a vector etch, we'd just change our, our stroke color to be blue, and that signifies a vector etch. 
something I haven't mentioned yet, but it is very important, is that our stroke width needs to be 0.01 millimeters wide, and that's the actual width that the laser cuts away as it as it does its cuts. Um, any wider, and the software may not recognize it as a vector, and any thinner, and it, the software may not see it. So 0.01 millimeters is the width we want. I currently have it set to 0.1 on the screen, just so we can see it in the video. But w if we were to print it right now, we'd need it to be 0.01. So this is a blue for vector etch. And a vector etch, the tool head of the laser, follows the vector lines um, around the piece, but only lightly burns into it. So rather than cutting all the way through, the power is much reduced, so it just scores the top. So I have an example of that here, and it's going to be a little hard to see in the video, so I'll try to catch the light, but you can see a really light um, etching of the Core Electronics logo right along where the cuts were on the last piece. And the, the last way that we can, the last thing we can do with a laser cutter is an etch, which is a raster etch. So, for a raster, we would fill in everything black. So whatever comes up black, the job control software will interpret as an engraving. And you can also do different shades to do to engrave different depths. But on its the on its simplest level, anything that's a shade of black or gray gets engraved. So if we were to paint bucket in. All our letters here to be black, then we'd end up with something a lot like this. So we have the Core Electronics logo. It's been taken away about a mill of material engraved down into this black acrylic, wherever the black is on the logo. And of course, we can do some combination of all three. So here we have some engraving, some cuts, and some etches, and you can see the electronics here easier because rather than take all the paper off that usually protects the acrylic, I removed all the other paper and the etch just cut through perfectly from the paper only so the paper was able to stay on. So those are all the different ways that we can, we can create at the simplest level with laser cutting. And you can, you can use those tools to make incredibly complex things. You're not limited to just simple logos and keychains, but those are the, the, the tools available to create with, with a laser cutter. So stick around for more. We've got more tutorials coming up on laser cutting. We'll go over how to create, convert a graphic image to a vector image so you can cut it on a laser cutter, and we'll get into building 3D objects with a laser cutter. So stick around.